Vice. Today I'm at the home course of the Random High Speed Boom, San Jose, California. And I'm going to show you another way you might consider the hip to two hand and backhand. This one works for me quite well, and it's particularly good if you're older. Not quite as easy and flexible as a young kid. And I wish to get back a more graceful stroke rather than one that might be too tight, not whatever, but one that could be more free. Again, so even if you're older, you probably let you do this. And classically, of course, people hold two hand backhand. Usually it's a left hand dominated backhand, as usual. Classic grip with the second hand here. Back, go straight to the hitting zone. Pull up. So you're going to like, huh, so. Now, uh, what I propose to do, what I've been doing the last couple of years, is it really gives me a lot more power than I ever had before. Control and much more uh, gracefulness, I think, much more fluid stroke. What I do, I take the same stroke, slip it all the way down to the butt of the racket, see that? And it's still a left hand dominated stroke, but because my left hand might not be as strong as the right, I'll give a little. Can see this? Stabilizer. We call that the stabilizer. So you can then do this. Okay? Like so. So in other words, of course you can still do this if you want, but that's not good. The goal is to have a nice long back swing. Put the racket face closer to the ground. Come up to the hitting zone. Power straight ahead. Let it whip around. So it looks something like this starting from the Racket way behind you, a nice long stroke because you got the racket extended. It's a longer stroke. Boom. Boom. Like that. And of course, uh, there's another variation you can do. You can go to a uh, semi western, come around to the next eighth turn, and then adjust your hitting spot further in front so you're still flat. And then get tremendous top spin if you wish to go for the excess top spin. Personally, I, I tend to use just the classic rope, strip, pitch it, go. And to demonstrate some, I'll show you just a few of that. It's got very hard, powerful, deep jumps. Plenty of top spin. Want more top spin, just pull up a little harder. Higher over the net. Okay. Just a bit. Now, I love it. It's a great shot. And I don't feel more all bound up like in the classic back time. It's not a kid anymore. Kids can just do push you know, really quick. They really lose. When you pass 40, it's not the same. So you get to lose the back and do that. Well, I'll demonstrate a couple of where the semi westerns come around and I just try a little more. And then you have to adjust the thinking stuff where you're going to hit it. So you go higher over the net, and it zips up and comes down. Okay? And uh, but emphasize the fact that it's really a left handed forehand, which is great because when you're on the run, you can't get there. Rather than doing even a two hand backhand, you go to one hand. The other thing about even this, this I call it the extended two hand backhand, by the way. To get you a longer reach, see? Otherwise, it would be a shorter reach with the hand up through the upper racket. So, when you're on the run, you can hit a left hand or what the heck? If you hit a thousand of these, you can do this all day long now. So, and uh, that's the lesson for today. Keep in mind, we call it the extended two hand backhand. Nothing else like it. You won't see it anywhere else. Bye now.